What is going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. Now, I just got this box from PCBWay. It's full of all sorts of really cool clear cases for all kinds of devices. Now, if you're a regular watcher of the channel, you've probably seen my Clear Flipper Zero by now. Now, this bad boy's got a clear case designed by ZR Kraken and printed by PCBWay themselves. This thing came out so good, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I was thinking, hey, what else can we make a clear case for? So today we're gonna turn the world clear. Oh yeah, and if you haven't noticed over there, I've got my new Bamboo Lab A1 combo going. That thing is a beast, and right now I'm geared up printing as much stuff as I can to give away at DEF CON. So yeah, if you happen to see me at DEF CON, give me a shout out, and I'll hook you up with some free Talking Sasquatch merch. All right, so that brings us back to the box of goodies. Let's open her up and find out what's inside. And of course, thank you so much PCBWay.com for printing all this cool stuff for me. Let's do it. All right, so let's get this thing open. I've got my Jerry Rig Everything Knife. These things are awesome if you don't have one. And uh, yeah, let's get it open. Careful. Oh yeah, look at this. All sorts of cool stuff. Um, let's just grab something and see what's in it. Start with this guy. All right, so let's open this guy up and see what's inside. Ooh, I know what this is. Oh, this is one of the pieces. Let me go find the rest of them. This is gonna be so sick. All right, cool. Here's another one. Yeah, there's the back. Oh man, it's gonna be so good. And the last bag. Now I had no doubt that these were gonna come out great, but they are absolutely flawless. They're so perfect. How nice that looks. It says dual mini on there. It's so good. Okay, let me change focus and get real close on these. It says dual mini V2. It's just glass. These are just so nice. That's so cool. Now, if you haven't figured out what this is, this is actually AWOC's Dual Mini V2. So let me go ahead and uh, take it apart and let's get this thing on. All right, so here is AWOC's Dual Mini V2. So I'm going to get uh, get to switching this case over and see what this looks like. Now, you got to be super careful taking this apart because it's got a GPS on the back here. Let's see if we can unclip this carefully. There we go and then the back's out. Now, one of the main reasons I really wanted a clear case for this is just look how gorgeous, oops, screw, look how gorgeous this thing is. Yeah, this thing is an absolute work of art in gold and purple. So, so cool. So a clear case, honestly, it's the only thing that really does it justice. So let's get this thing assembled. All right. What did that go on last time? Oh, it's so sick. Look at that. it screws back in. Gonna be really careful screwing these in this is resin so it will strip out if you're mean to it but if you're nice to them it'll be just fine i've worked a lot with these resin cases they're actually more durable than you might think and this one's actually reasonably thick so i'm not too concerned about any problems with it i gotta say i am so psyched with how this thing came out put it in the little case here Clip that in, and that is absolutely gorgeous. Here, let me get the focus right. That is so, so sick. And you get to see all of the cool internals and stuff. Man, this is awesome. Let's get it plugged into a Flipper Zero, get the full effect. All right, got a Flipper Zero. Take the pin cover off. Man, this thing's gorgeous. Ugh. Plug it in, and then all we'll have to do is enable 5 volt, I believe. Here we go. And then GPIO, 5 volt on. You ready? All right, let's do this. Boom. Marauder. This has got to be the coolest thing ever. And in case you didn't know, this is the uh, Dual ESP V2 Mini, and that's by AWOC, AWOC Dynamics. I'll link down below. And yeah, it's got GPS in it as well. So this is like fully hooked up. This is kitted out. This thing is absolutely sick. And in the clear case, honestly, this is the best way to get these. I got to convince AWOC to stock these clear cases because they are sick. I can't stop looking at this thing. It's so good. But all right, we got to move on. Let's open up some more stuff. I am absolutely ecstatic about how that came out. I will have links to all of the STLs down below and you can get them printed yourself in clear resin. All right, back to the box. Let's see what we got. Um, let's grab, grab this guy. It seems big. Let's see what's in here. And this package is huge. What is in here? Let's see. Yoink. All right. Oh, no way. This thing is sick. In case you don't know what this is, this is actually the tool head cover for my Bamboo X1 Carbon. 
That looks so nice. Now this is another model designed by ZR Kraken. It even says Bamboo Lab on the top right there, which is really cool. So let's grab the uh, the actual tool head cover and get everything swapped over. Now this is actually a perfect time to test out my Panda Jet. So this is actually from Big Tree Tech. They sent this over for me to try out. So we'll put that on the tool cover as well. All right, so here is the stock tool head cover. Just, you know, the normal Bamboo Lab one. So let's get to taking this apart. I had this little guy in there to try to make the light a different color. Don't use a transparent color if you're gonna make one of these. Use a, a solid color, because this did nothing. Eh, actually, that's good enough. Move this out of here, and then grab this guy. So, let's make sure we don't lose any of our screws. Now, we do need a couple little magnets, which I happen to have right here. Easy peasy. Let's see if these fit, or if I'm gonna have to glue them in here. Actually, these will, these will go in. Here we go. One, go two. Let's just give them the business. We'll get them to stay in there. The thing about magnets is they stick to everything. At least everything magnetic, or everything ferrous for that matter. All right, magnets are in. Now, this guy's already got our panda jet. It's already got magnets right there, so I don't need those. And then this just kind of clips in like that, and there's a screw got to get everything lined up. There we go. All right, cool. Let's just start assembling this and we'll be in good shape here. Again, we are screwing into resin, so we want to be kind of nice to everything. It's got to get things lined up good enough to get things started. There it is. Everything's on there now. Perfect. There's our Panda Jet. Now I just got to put the fan in and the light and we're good to go. There we go. Got to line things up super good. Boom, boom. And that goes like that. Should be pretty easy. Now, these two screws we don't need. Those were for holding the two halves of the bottom cover on. Now we just screw these guys in. Let's get this bad boy installed and see what it looks like. All right, yeah, so that looks absolutely amazing. It's so clear. You can see everything inside there. The LED is a little bright, so I might actually put something in front of it, like some, you know, PLA or something. It's going to change the color a little bit, but I love how this came out. All right, so that was really cool. I definitely am going to print a little thing in front of it. I might even put Squatch on it so that it diffuses that light a little bit. As you can see, it's pretty bright. But yeah, great job, ZR Kraken, for making that model. And absolutely thanks to PCBWay for printing it for me. That looks sick. Back to the box. Um, you. Let's find out what you are. Okay, so let's open this up. What are you? Oh, sick! I forgot about this! This is going to be awesome! Because this also comes with this guy. Unwrap you like a savage, which is the other side of it. That's so cool. So this is actually a ESP32 V3 case by Alley Cat. This thing is sick. It's the clear version of this guy. So let's put this all together and let's make a lower device. I am going to have to cannibalize one of my devices. So let's pull this guy apart. This is the one that just sits on my desk. Nice little setup there. Doesn't need an antenna because it connects to Wi-Fi. So that's just basically it. Pop that out. Let's not lose my buttons, which... Oh, actually, I need to recycle these buttons. I forgot to print those. Whoops. These are different buttons. Just a second. Okay, turns out I recycled those buttons for this guy. So I don't have buttons for this right now. That's not going to stop us from having a good time. Let's put it together anyway. This is going to go like that. And actually, let me plug the battery in. I have a battery somewhere. Here we go. Battery. And any juice in it? Nope, of course it's dead. Let's get this thing installed. That lines up. This is going to be a little snug. Give it the business. Oh, it's in. Cool. Battery is just going to kind of hang out here. Since it's dead, it doesn't matter anyway. This will fit a way bigger battery anyway, so I'm not too concerned about it closing. There we go. Let's give it some power and uh, we can take a look at this. All right, give it the business. Hey, it's mesh-tastic and we've got our clear case. With a full-size battery in here, this thing would look sick. I'm psyched. This thing came out absolutely awesome. Again, big props to Alley Cat for this design. And then I've even got a clip for it. It takes one of these Baofeng kind of pager mounts, slides right in. Ah, that thing is sick. I'm really glad this thing came out so good. All right, let's check out what else we got. Yeah, so far I could not possibly be happier with how these things are coming out. So let's grab something else from the box and see what's up. The mystery box. And what do we got? Uh, 
grab this one. All right, let's get you opened. Oh, there's two pieces. I know what this is. Oh, yeah, this is going to be sweet. Part one. And part two. Wow, that's so good. Those of you who don't recognize this, this is the video game module. Bump it on. This came out so good. This piece is thick. This is 100% infill. It's like a prism. All right, let's get this thing swapped over. Got to be really careful with these guys. Two. Can I touch it? Can I get there? Can I get far enough in here? Yeah, this isn't going far enough. Plan B. How does this go? Is this any better? Yes. Yes. This is going to work. Yep. I've never actually taken this off before. I wonder what this looks like, honestly. There we go. Rubber part on the bottom. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit. This thing's actually pretty cool looking. Look at that guy. Boom. The other side. So yeah, the clear case is actually going to work well for this because this looks pretty cool. So let's get that put on and figure out how this works. So this is going to go like this. Oh, upside down. I'm an idiot. When in doubt, I'm doing it wrong. Here we go. Oh, this is looking so good. All right, I think that's good enough. Let's get the screws in there. Call it a day. I'm going to drive all the screws by hand on these. And let's put this rubber guy back on. All right, cool. So let's jam this thing on a flipper zero. Here we go. Plug that in. Oh, we're backwards. <laughs> Video game module initialized. There we go. That's cool. That's so cool. Got ZR cracking up there. Even better. This thing came out absolutely fantastic. Actually, we could probably run this without the bumper, right? Maybe he designed it like that. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. That fits great. Yeah, even better. Screw the yellow thing. Or I guess it's orange. But yeah, look at how good that is. Why have a transparent flipper when you don't have transparent everything? So nice. All right, so back to the box and find out what's left for us. All right, so what else? One and two, okay. So these are the last two. I know what these are for. I'm psyched for this one too. All right, here we go. So let's start unwrapping these. Oh man, this is nice. And it's, it's thick, like it's really thick. So it actually is gonna be pretty darn sturdy and it's obviously super, super clear. So I am psyched on this. And for those of you who haven't figured out what this is, it's another Alley Cat print. And this is for the LilyGo T-Dex. Let me grab that and get it switched over. Give ourselves a little room, but I want to keep those in frame because they're gorgeous. Grab ourselves some pliers to get the nut for the SMA off. There we go. Any luck? There we go. The little guys come out. And let's take these two screws out. Aha! Now, I'm not going to lie, this thing already looks pretty sick with this kind of translucent gray, but this is going to be way better. So let's move this and pop this guy out. Uh, whoops. That's right. There's little nuts in there. I got to not lose that go behind here. There we go. Two nuts. And then pop this out. Oh, got to take the SMA out first. That's a mistake. Ah, there we go. And then this should just press out carefully. Oh, is it the SD card? It's always the SD card. I get swindled by SD cards all the time. All the time. Here we go. Now I'm sure it'll come out. Yep. Just like that. It comes apart. Bam. Let's grab our clear case and then get our switch lined up, which does that go here? I think so, right? There's our switch. Oh, yeah, there we go. We might as well do the peel while we're at it. I left that on for you know, good measure, I guess. Flips right in. Didn't say I'm surprised to see that it fits better than the other one because dimensional accuracy is important. But man, that thing so good and actually let's get this plugged back through here so i don't forget about that again when in doubt assume that you did something wrong i forgot that was key there's a flat spot on top so once you get that lined up it'll go in it's got to give it a little bit of a wiggle get it nice and lined up perfect 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 and then we'll put that on well cool and then let's go with these little nuts here there we go. Now you'll notice I do not have a battery for this. All of my batteries are... I dropped the nuts because I'm stupid. Um, all of my uh, batteries are actually in use in other LoRa devices that I've got ready for DEF CON, but that's okay. This is just kind of showing off what this all is anyway. Let's put the screw here. That's so cool. Let's give it a little electricity. Plug it in. Boom. And see or go. I should have an antenna on this, though. Boom. Mesh-tastic. I actually have to update this. There's a brand new version of Mesh-tastic for this, and it looks amazing. So I'll definitely be doing that soon. But, like, 
Wow, look at how cool that is. Now I just gotta get a, um, a battery pack and I'll put a sticker, like a Sasquatch sticker on it in the back. And this thing will be absolutely amazing. That's, that's awesome. I'm so psyched. Man, that was a lot of super cool clear stuff. Like I knew how good the Flipper Zero case came out. So I was like, hey, why don't we see what else we can do? And I am absolutely impressed. Now, end of the day, I'm not going to lie, this clear case for AWOX dual mini ESP is absolutely phenomenal. I think it's my favorite. What was your favorite? Leave a comment down below. Or if there's anything else you'd like to see me print in clear resin, comment down below. As always, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are legends. We'll catch you next time.